let's do the next area, which will get me to what is probably my favorite town. Um, there's only like two towns, <laughs> so I guess it's not much of a competition. <laughs> It might be my favorite area, though, and it's, I think it's my favorite boss fight at the end of it, too. Okay, there is Kira. Great! You have the 20 cells needed to power my heat shield. Yeah! So be careful. The shield will only protect your zoomer till it reaches 500 degrees, so try to keep her cool. Flying over open lava will definitely heat you up fast. Hit 500 degrees, and it's over. Over? Like burning molten metal over? The fire cannon gets pretty hot. So Duh. keep a lookout for jumps to keep you off the hot ground. I've also released several blue cooling balloons you can use to drop the shield's temperature quickly. Oh, and when you get across, don't forget to activate the teleport gate in the Blue Sage's lab. Then we'll be able to teleport over and meet you. Good luck! Thanks. Okay, this is another one of those high concentration, almost a mini game kind of a things. Ay, 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 here we go. This is easily my least favorite. Oh, oh, no. Oh, ah, see, I'm already missing stuff. Jeez Louise. Oh, oh, ow. Good grief. It's gonna take a couple of rounds because it's worth actually. Uh, yeah, there is scout flies out here because you wanna get all the scout flies. You wanna not blow up. Wow, I almost went into a pit of death. Ooh. Why? Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> Incoherence. I apologize. Oh, I missed it anyway. No, I'm gonna blow up. No, I'm gonna blow up. No, I'm dead. Oh, right in the lava. Ooh, wowie. No problem. It's it's worth doing a couple times, so... Whew. Let's get all the stuff first. Oh, boy. The lava... This is possibly the most stressful level in the whole game. Like, I swear, this this one level, there's another sequence of the zoomer, but I actually really like that one. It's called Lava Tube, and uh, it's got possibly the coolest music in uh, the whole game, first of all. Ow! And secondly, it's, not, it's a lot more fun than this is, where this is like, oh, uh, the entire way. That one is more... Uh, I don't know. It just feels cooler. Okay, I have to slow down on purpose to try and get everything. Because I don't want to have to do this again. But I'm probably going to have to do it at least one more time. But I can just go nuts and fly through. Ay -ay -ay. Ah, I missed it. Let me have that. What else is in the trenches here? Ah, uh, can I hit anything else? There's a bug! Give me that bug! Oh, that's the end! No, 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 let me die. I want to die. Oh, okay. Phew. I didn't realize that was that short. Man, this was like impossible to me as a kid. Okay, so there's one more box I need to grab, and then I, I'll just go through it this time. It should be good. I think. Did I get all the bugs? Ow. Okay, so I can apparently blow myself up, which is good to know. <laughs> That's always an option. I'm not going to talk too much, because this freaking A-grab zo zoomer sequences are my least favorite, other than the lava tube. But luckily there aren't too many. Where is that last bug I'm missing, man? Like, I definitely didn't get them all, did I? Or did it... Oh, there it is. There it is. That's what I missed. There we go. <laughs> okay, I should be able to actually just try and get through now. See if I didn't cook myself. Go go go! Go go go! Ugh. Whoa! Oh boy! Come on, give me that balloon! Give me that balloon! The okay. <laughs> we made it. That wasn't too bad. I remember that being a lot harder than I thought it was. And yeah, we got all the junk too. We made it. Let's check my stats. Fire Canyon, yeah. 50 out of 50, 7 out of 7. We are good to go. What could have happened at the Rock Village? Seems to be slightly on fire. Hmm. 
<laughs> Whoa, I almost fell in already. I don't have to go this way, but I just saw the, <laughs> the precursor orbs and I couldn't resist myself. This is the blue sage it's hot. Where is the blue sage? I'm gonna take my fur ball. Hi, baby. Hi. Not sure how you showed up, but I'm glad you did. Let's check around here. There's some health around here. Yeah, this village. It, oh, man, it's so cool. Look at that. Look at You can see everything. I just love this game because the world is so big and it's really here. It's not like you pass through an area and this load screen. And, no, it's all right here. No loading. This game really is that big. And yeah, so like that's one of the things that Yuka and Laylee does wrong, is that the world is not a continuous stream. But I mean, of course, that's how Banjo-Kazooie is, so it's, it's not entirely their fault. That is how Banjo-Kazooie is, but it felt like that was the world they were building in Banjo-Kazooie, whereas Yuka and Laylee just feels like that's what Banjo and Kazooie did, so that's what we're gonna do. Whereas they could have just adapted slightly and had, you know, realms you pass through to, but then have bigger worlds within those realms. Because Banjo and Kazooie. Until we find out why the blue sage disappeared, you're going to need to collect 45 power cells to fuel his machine. Okay. Let's see what this guy has to say. Beware of the dark light, for it has twisted the fate of one of you. Bring me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. That's an interesting hint. But. Yeah, as a kid, I assumed that it was Daxter, but hint, hint, it might not actually be Daxter they're talking about with the, the dark light within. Dun dun dun. But yeah, I just feel like Yuka and Laylee lean too hard on oh we're like crash or er, crash banjo kazooie when they could have hmm, where's that thing that's where i was trying to get to okay so if i did a roll i should be able to get that they should have expanded the world a little bit like the worlds are s relatively small in banjo and Kaz in kazooie but they feel big for the time hi you two look like a couple of capable fellows I've got a research project going, and maybe you could help me out. Maybe. Hey, we're the ones on a big quest here. We asked you for help. Well, perhaps we can help each other. I've been studying the burrowing habits of lightning moles in the precursor basin next to our village for years. But now those awful lurkers have scared the moles to the surface. And since they're blind as bats, they can't find their way back underground. If you could herd them back into their burrowing tunnels, you might just save their lives. I've got a power cell that says you can do it. Yeah, lightning moles. We can. Maybe for two power cells. Nice try. But I would be willing to part with another power cell if you two find me 90 precursor orbs for my research equipment. Fair enough? Okay. So I can give her that, but I actually want to make sure I get the other oracle first. Let's go talk to some of my favorite characters in the whole game. Oh, my aching head. I bet that's one of your vital organs. Walk it off, tough guy. Oh, sure, I was tough once. Maybe even the toughest of them all. I single-handedly defended this village from those horrid creatures for almost a year. Then that horrible monster arrived and commenced the boulder bombardment. So, full of valor, armor, 
shining in the sun, I climbed the hill to take him on. But he pounded me like one tenderizes a yakow steak. Have you tried attacking him with your melodrama? Cause it's killing me! After my last stun, no he sealed the passageway to his roost with a 30-ton bull, leaving no way for anyone to challenge him again. So, our sage, a master of blue ego, and a mechanical genius, devised a machine capable of lifting the boulder out of the way? But alas, he disappeared before we had a chance to turn it on. And he took all of his power cells with him. Nice. At least I was able to pull enough pontoons out of our bridge to prevent that monster from coming down here to do me harm. Yeah, uh, good, good job, tough guy. But uh, we're, we're gonna need you to uh, put him back and stuff. Oh, sure. And seal my doom? <sighs> All right. Fine. Bring me 90 precursor orbs and I'll let the pontoons loose. But I'm not going to fight that monster again. Nerd. Now, on to the cutest character in the whole game. Oh no, not another hero. I lost my short on kid so-called heroes been fight against the monster up there. Trust me, the smart money's on the monster. That way you pretty much tapped me out. So, I got a proposal. Bring me 90 orbs to get me back on my feet and out of this barrel, and I'll give you a power cell in return. And if you're game, I do have one more bet on mine. My big comeback. Tweak the record time, racing right? Dead Man's Gorge in the Precursor Basin, and I'll get a pretty payoff. But that, I'll give you another power cell. You got it, pal. You got it, bestie. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like, I like his animation, I like his facial design, I like his face. He's got a good face. <laughs> All the characters have just like, really... Like, the animation is very memorable, memorable, and the character design is very memorable, and they stuck that with that art design for the entire series, even though the series gets uh, edgy, really edgy, <laughs> but yeah, even though it gets edgy, they, uh, they did a good job keeping the, uh, the artistic integrity, and it is stays delightful the entire series. I love it. <laughs> I love the camera though. I'm gonna give him a pair of pants and adopt him. He is adorable. Hi dude. <laughs> Alright, where else do we need to go? I we can also go to Misty Island too. I forgot about that you one. Have proven yourself worthy. Here is a power cell. Nice. So, there we go. The entire first half of the game is complete. Okay, so... Oh, it's the Conquering Heroes. Good. I wanted to talk with you two about something serious. There appears to be quite a bit of lurker activity on Misty Island. I can see them bombarding the Precursor Silo from my lookout tower. If the lurkers open it up and release the Dark Eco, we could all end up running around looking as ridiculous as this annoying little specimen. Jack, it's time for you to prove your worth. Get the fisherman to let you take his boat back to Misty Island. Get to the top of the Precursor Silo and take out that cannon. And what about me? You? Why don't you mop my floors? They seem to have lost their shine lately. <laughs> I'm not sure I've seen that cutscene before, actually. I meant to just hop- Oh, thank frickin' goodness, man. Okay, I just make sure I was actually recording that I finally got that. I had to look it up. I don't know how I figured that out as a kid, but I guess I had a lot of time. But, uh, the guy I saw in the, the, uh, 
video said to do it in the opposite direction, grab that one, then go and then sweep in from along this wall. But it's pretty hard to do. <laughs> I saw in the comments somebody said to do the opposite. I remember just fleeing myself across this open field. Phew! So if you enjoyed, consider liking. And if you haven't already, subscribing. Because I just do games at this point. I have random stuff like v-pads and yeah, you know. Anyway, have a good week and bye!